let's see what's coming your way and we do have the seven of wands and the four of pentacles so one is holding on to this connection while the other person is actually defensive right or blocking in the ghosting i want to stay away i need time i need my bubble and the chariot might be a cancer that you are dealing with and they show up here actually a little bit in the letting go mode and uh, blocked eight of wands suspended up in the air they are not moving so let's see what this is all about we do have the four of pentacles in reverse again and the queen of wands might be a fire sign or if this can speak of the passion you might have let's see one is passionate one is blocking what's going on here virgo what is going on baby and the magician we are manifesting some things here i do love magician speaks of change speaks of i'm taking control i feel confident now is the time i am aligning i we love the magician um hangman and nine of wands i know baby and the hierophant in reverse Taurus energy we might get apologies, um, but we still have the Nine of Wands energy. Somebody here is actually, um, I would say, a little bit suspended, a little bit uh, observing, looking at the situation, looking at you, analyzing a bit, and we have the Nine of Wands. Somebody is hurt here. can be you. can be your person too. This is the overall energy of the reading. And we have the Page of Cups. We still have feelings. They are a little bit small might be apologies and the hierophant in reverse right we are a little bit disconnected from this partnership for now and this is how it feels the overall energy now let's see past energies will go on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's get the possible outcome out and then we start the um, we flip the cards one by one see what energies we have here and what guidance we get high priestess in reverse i love this might be about secrets coming out honestly i feel that it's a uh, more of um finally re-establishing lines of communication this can be with the seven of pentacles, the energy of the person you are connecting with, slowly contemplating uh, to come out of, um, of silence, but definitely somebody stonewalled you, right? Ghosted you. This is like, no, 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 went silent in such a crazy way. Anyways, so Virgo, in the past, what do we have? We have fights and we have wish fulfillment. So this person, at times, they were your wish fulfillment. At your wish fulfillment, at times, they were a warrior, right? We had to really keep up with the uh, fighting energies. Maybe we had disagreements, a little bit of conflict. It's like, oh, please, you know? So we had a little bit. This is the perfect combination of up and down kind of a connection. You know, we had good days and we had our days where um, sparks were flying right across the room. And we had um, arguments and disagreements and uh, Five of Swords is um, really the energy of um, not really being on the same page when it comes to certain issues. And probably happiness was one of the um you know happiness and what you get out of this um relationship what you get what, what's the benefit the net benefit right for you and for them too but this is this was on your hands right it was good <clears throat> it was a fight and then it got out of balance for them uh virgo this person went into the ten of cups um in reverse kind of energy what life was no longer a bliss um they became unhappy um, unhappy with the community, unhappy with the life, unhappy with the love, unhappy with everything. And I would say even out of balance with the justice in reverse might have been a Libra who walked away uh, from you. But that's, um, this is the energy of um, um, not having, not uh, pulling any benefit from, from this, um, you know. 
And I love the Ten of Cups because it speaks of um, of honesty, of emotions, you know. It's like they felt this way at some point and, and um, it became unfair actually for everybody involved. This combination of cards um, kind of speaks for go of somebody being um, concerned with the situation being um, give and take for both of you. And when it got unhappy, it got unhappy for both of you. So somebody kind of, um, you know decided to put the um, the conflict to bed we have in the past for you Virgo five of swords five of wands non mutual energies and the two of cups right um we might have had like um kind of tremendous conflict with this and five of wands is the internal conflict of am i am i still in love with them do i still want them right that's a five of swords five of wands like i mean like seriously you know um questioning yourself and questioning uh them and also probably at some point emotions ran wild or um empty or dry we do have the two of cups in reverse with the five of wands right so an energy of um of um disconnection emotional disconnection questioning love questioning the connection questioning the dynamics between the two of you i don't know whose energy i'm picking up but it seems an energy of a um, highly unfair kind of uh, dynamic and probably both of you gave in to um, gave in to this um, one you have the five of swords mutual energies five of wands and justice on their side in reverse which is kind of um oh virgo i hope you are not that discouraged right we do have the two of pentacles in reverse and the nine of cups i believe I'm, and it's interesting you have nine of cups in the past and nine of cups right now it's kind of like you are uh ready to give up uh, wish fulfillment and happiness and please do not give up on happiness two of pentacles is the energy of letting go is the energy of i've had my fight not in a sense of conflict, but like fighting for happiness and fighting for a fulfilling life, getting what you want, getting what you wish, um, right? And and having this amazing um, run at life, right? But we have you kind of uh, willing to give up, so I hope you will not, actually. And probably both of you, you want to give up, but I'm sensing here somebody wants to open uh, lines of communication. This is somebody wanting to talk to you again. This is probably them rejecting you and now wanting to take you back. And with the four of pentacles is actually the energy of taking a chance and the risk. This is the energy and with their past energies is the energy of somebody saying, it was unfair in the past, but I'm still willing to give them a chance. You know, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm willing actually to take a risk. Um, it's a very cautious energy, right? It starts at the core of this energy is the four of pentacles. I have to take care of myself. And also at the same core of the problem was them rejecting you because they were feeling they need to take care of themselves. So now all these energies are upside down. So this person, right, is in a process of opening up. Uh, we have this energy of transitions here, the energy of, okay, um, maybe it was not such a good idea. And if in the past they might have made a very emotional decision, we do have cups and justice, a reaction a strong reaction to an emotional situation right we it's like somebody bring the justice when we are having a good cry kind of energy you know and it moves to pentacles so that is a form of stability that this person is taking into consideration shifting energies is like you know thinking about stability and i'm sure you love this person and some somehow somebody offered the hierophant right which is the most stable type of connection of course, it's um, 3D related, but still, it's, um, you know, some people are simply happy with the uh, with this kind of energy, you know. Make sure you uh, put bread on the table and everybody's fed and safe and we're good. So they are contemplating this now, this form of stability. <clears throat> now, mutual energies between you and this person right now, we do have the death. Scorpio energy it is in reverse so we still have unfinished business um rejected um fully completely rejected and now reconsidering fights we never addressed internal conflict that we never addressed and yet both of you staying strong we do have the strength courageous about it 
on your best behavior, being polite. Um, if you have communication from time to time, this is the energy of feeling polite and, and you know, being polite and um, and um, and staying strong in the situation. For some of you, might be a Leo you are dealing with, or a Leo is somehow involved. <coughs> Sorry, in um, in this energy with this person. So um, <clears throat> it's interesting the nine of cups. Um, it's interesting the nine of cups, and there is a message here for somebody. I'm not sure it's for everybody, but we know nine of cups is the um, alcoholic card, right? Is somebody having? Um, having trouble and that is a strong message here of somebody actually having a drinking problem and can be right can be any form of addiction but nine of cups particularly when it shows up consistently and with this surrounded with five of swords it might be conflict because somebody was drinking a little bit too much and the energy right now for some of you is actually giving up drinking that's two of cups I let go you know I had I was trying to go through life while having this problem and two of pentacles is like, okay, I'm going to take care of it. You know, I'm going to put this to bed. Can very well be. And it's paired with the, the courage card, uh, the strength card, you know, and, and, and making tough decisions, right? And going against the instinct and um, um, inside of us. So... It's a, it's a good evolution for some of you. For some of you, really, it's like the happiness we are about to give up, but it, that is also a strong one. For some of you, uh, dealing with um, an alcohol problem. What's coming your way? Absolutely, stability and commitment. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. This is fully your energy. The energy of family, legacy, money, stability, and Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the energy of commitment. The energy of non-traditional, we know the Hierophant is all the marriage and the pieces of paper and the signatures. The Nine of Pentacles is the energy, you know, of um, of somebody wanting to come your way and offer a commitment. Can be this person, we'll see. Absolutely, they want to offer a commitment, Virgo. I love this. Ace of Pentacles with a judgment. That is a decision and that is an offer. That is actually a final decision, a positive one and an offer. So might be non-traditional or for some of you having divorce because the hierophant in reverse um with the justice in reverse and the judgment can be an indication actually of a divorce that happened or maybe somebody uh, opened up the uh, um you know the uh, the process but actually you know it's like slowing down and thinking well maybe we can have something that is less formal non-traditional and absolutely it's an offer of commitment of and it's this idea of we should this time start slow, right? That's the Ace of Pentacles. Let's let's reinvest. Let's go uh, from the beginning, kind of. And on your side is the full energy of of I I don't know anything else but solid commitment. You know, I don't know dating or something like that. You know, because you show up with the strong energy. This is yours. Um, so again, staying in your own power and, and knowing exactly what you want, but it's the energy of fully loaded commitment. Uh, while this person kind of, they are willing to offer this, which is a very solid Ace of Pentacles, but of course it takes time. Um, so mutual energies between you and this person, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a little bit emotional and a little bit um, cautious. If Knight of Swords is rushing in, Knight of Swords in reverse is slowing in, right? <laughs> I don't know if this is a verb, but this is what came to mind. So what do you want me to say? No. Um, and the Queen of Cups a little bit emotional, right? Both of you. But we love the Queen of Cups. We really love a good Queen of Cups because we know there is maturity uh, in this. Actually, by the looks of it, we um, we have mature energy. We have the Hierophant, Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords. Well, Knight of Swords a little bit impulsive, but thank God we have it in reverse, which means that somebody learned a lesson on impulsivity and rushing into stuff. Um, and the Queen of Cups might be, okay, we are all emotional, that's why we go slowly, but absolutely both energies of commitment here. I love this. 
Um, so now Virgo, let's ask for guidance. That's the beauty of it because I believe lately we had a good reading of, of uh, offerings and actually in the guidance, um, we got like a clear message of, well, maybe you should start to flirt with other people, you know, and it was like, oh, come on, universe, come on. So let's ask for some guidance. I'm um, going to have one romance angels. Let's see what we need to hear. And it's wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Okay. And we have passion on the bottom of the deck. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have make the effort. So if this is, if I picked up the energy of somebody um, married and having a husband or wife and estranged kind of husband and wife, we do have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Maybe the passion was the problem. We forgot to have fun. We ha we forgot to be sensual and um, having physical uh, bond or developing a physical bond. And now um, that is quite a quite a clear message. Make the effort. You know, marriage is important, kind of. And um, again, might have been the. the, the Problem might have been the passion or the sensuality in it. Okay, I'm going to take it. I do love the Ace of uh, Pentacles here. What is this? We do have the Queen of Wands. We do have the Queen of Wands and we had it while shuffling. So this is um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And that is a message in, in it for you. And it says, this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. I honestly believe this is, um, this is how it feels. It feels like um, a reminder, you know, you can embody the Queen of Wands. You can, now it's the time to be passionate and have your heart open. Um, you are loving, you are intelligent, you are passionate, you are fun, right? And you can handle this. This is um, what I'm hearing, more of an encouragement kind of energy. And we do have be open to success. And it's interesting because this message says, if your heart is open. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. And now we have be open to success. So kind of like this um, connection can be a success, but... Um, that is something inside of you. Maybe you lost hope. Like I was saying, I feel like somebody gave up um, like um, happiness and wish fulfillment hope on, right? So it says, look at, well, look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. And I'm going to take the Ace of Pentacles because you already have one. This person has an offer for you. And I know this is about work, um, but I, I'm um, sure you're going to hear it as an opportunity. And it says, this cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources um, comes your way to help you with the plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. This may be important contract. Uh, there may be, sorry, um, important contracts to sign. I love this. Speaks again of your energy, of the stability coming your way, of a new venture, a good time to make changes, solid changes of speaks of opportunities. And because this is a love reading, it does look like they are kind of, they bring an opportunity to you and you only have to be open. You have two energies saying you have to be open, but you have to use your better judgment, baby. You know it, I cannot, um, right? This is just um, a reading. So let's see what energies we need to get back in the flow. What else is there that we need to know? And we have surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So yeah, make the effort about the passion. Be passionate and open, but still don't forget about yourself, right? You are also, you have to be on the list. 
and we have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So I don't know if we are a little bit resentful because we had all the fights in the world and the justice energy brought upon us, but we are guided to get forgiveness out of the way by doing it, by applying. We do have success. I know that there is no greater goal than love, right? So um, bringing back love. I'm, I'm sensing more. I'm sure you love this person. I'm sensing more the expression of love. Um, being open to show. This is how I'm hearing. But you'll have to tell me what do you hear, right? So failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So maybe somebody made a mistake and now that's all right to kind of see it and, and be open to acknowledge uh, that, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. That's human, you know, that's normal, that's human. When we do nothing, we don't um, make mistakes. Um, and bottom of the deck, respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path of love. So forgiveness and respect. Um, Virgo, you value everyone's unique perspective on the path of love. Like no judgment and respect for where they come from and what they bring to the table. Their way of expressing love, of doing love, um, doing relationships, that kind of energy. Um, so Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.